Good afternoon. We're going to try and do something a little different this afternoon. Hopefully it will work out well. But um, in front of me here is one of the workstations we use to, uh, to produce the forecast. And Ryan's helped me with the uh, video. I'm uh, Bruce, one of the forecasters here. And behind me are Aaron and Mark. They're also helping with the uh, forecast this afternoon. Um, anyway, we're going to zoom into this uh, left display. And the first image we're going to show is uh, the cold air, which is the first ingredient we need for uh, winter weather. And the uh, blue area up here is uh, basically current time. So most of northwest Oklahoma is below freezing now. As we advance forward here, we get the, on the right display. As we advance forward, you can see that the blue colors continue to move southward as you would expect behind a cold front. And then by, this is 6 a.m. Thursday, almost our entire area is below freezing. Uh, which sets up a problem and you can see I'll go through uh, Saturday morning and we continue to get colder temperatures and by say sunrise Saturday a lot of single digits to teens across a large area. So cold air is in place, we have a storm system that's coming out that spells trouble. So a lot of people ask, um, well I'll go to this other one here first to kind of give you a timing on the precip. This is just one model. The uh, kind of the browner shades here are kind of light precip, but this is by oh, 6 a.m. tomorrow, Thursday. You can see kind of light amounts down across southeast Oklahoma, somewhere from Ada down to Bryan County. Here's noon, kind of moves off a little bit, not too much going on. And then by, say, Thursday afternoon or Friday, you can see a little bit more precip, say, from Tulsa down to Oklahoma City, maybe Ardmore. And much of this, as we'll get into, will probably be freezing rain, maybe some sleep back in here. And the big trouble, it looks like, will come, or the higher impact will be kind of Thursday night and especially uh, midnight into Friday morning. You can kind of see darker uh, green, which means uh, more precip and we'll get into the types here in a second. And then as you get into the afternoon on Friday, that moves off and we kind of dry out, but we're left with very cold temperatures. So a lot of people ask, why is it so hard to predict uh, snow and ice and all that stuff around Oklahoma? Well, a lot of times we uh, have a warm layer several thousand feet above the ground. And this, anything below, this is just kind of really a first guess, don't take it to heart. But anything below the pink and into the blue uh, will be snow. So I'll back it up here to where the precip starts on Thursday morning. And we've had that little light precip down the southeast. Well, that's going to be, you know, anything in the green will be more likely either sleet or freezing rain. And for the southeast, probably either a very cold rain or freezing rain. And as you see, as we go forward in time, the where the snow line will be kind of advances slowly to the south and east. This is Thursday night, so anywhere from, say, Stillwater to maybe Clinton, anything that falls will more likely be snow. And down in the green area, we'll probably still be dealing with some sleet and freezing rain uh, down the southeast. And as we get into that high impact time that I mentioned earlier where the heavier precip will fall, as you can see that that warm, that colder air is becoming more entrenched. This area will likely have more snow and sleet and continue with the freezing rain uh, accumulations. You know, Ada down Wichita Falls, looks like Tulsa, Oklahoma City, down into Altus, and Lawton will be in snow. And yeah, there's potential some of that might be heavy at times. But again, it looks like the favorite time for that is kind of midnight uh, Friday into about 9 a.m. And let's see, so with all that being said, what can you expect? We'll go to the, uh, our uh, snow totals here. Bear with me so I can find it. I guess I'm actually clicked on it. And here's the best guess right, right now. It's kind of anywhere from Chandler down to Oklahoma City, maybe just north of Lawton into the Hobart, Altus area. Anywhere, say, generally from three to six inches. And then how much ice. And you can kind of see other areas down here might get some um, some snow, but it might be more of sleet and uh, freezing rain, unfortunately. And let me try to get to the ice accumulations. 
and it looks like again at the hardest area might be because they're going to stay you know in, in the cold air but it's not enough to snow and kind of maybe potentially half to maybe three quarters of an inch of ice accumulation in the maybe Atoka and Duran area and lighter amounts so it looks like we have maybe up to an in, a half inch I'm sorry of um, accumulations and um, in Wichita Falls so again it looks like kind of south central southeast Western North Texas to be having you know quite a bit of ice maybe, and then as you go back further northwest, more sleet and snow. Anyway, I hope that was helpful to uh, plan for this upcoming uh, winter weather event. If you guys uh, like this, maybe we'll do some more in the future. Thanks.